Hey guys, welcome back to the Ryan family. So today's video is going to be what I got my kids for Valentine's Day. So I do have three girls, Layla who is eight, Aurora who is four, and Jade is one. So I'm gonna share what I got for Valentine's Day. I always make them baskets just to make the holidays a little extra special. You totally don't have to do this, but it's just something that my mom did growing up. So I like to do it for my kids too. So since we just recently had all of the holidays, Christmas, my girls' birthdays are all around Christmas too. So we always get flooded with toys so for Valentine's Day baskets I try to avoid toys at all costs sometimes I'll throw in like one here and there but for the most part I try to keep it as like things they can wear things that they need um, and then also like things that they can use outside because Valentine's Day is kind of around the time when it starts to warm up a little bit outside at least where we live so I try to keep it away from toys as much as I can so I'm gonna just go ahead and jump into it I'll start off with my oldest basket and then I'll go down to my youngest so as always links will be down below in the description so make sure you check that out if you want to shop anything that I share so the baskets I love them these are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be I should have checked the size it's totally fine but I definitely thought they were going to be a little bit smaller but I love these baskets you guys know i am a sucker for rope baskets i have them all throughout my house they're just perfect for storage and like toys blankets literally anything so i have them in almost every single room in my house so i'm probably going to use these baskets for toy storage once they open up all of their stuff so here's a closer look at the basket it's really pretty it has like this arch almost like rainbow detailing in the front and the back it has nice handles and it's just like a really decent size so i'm gonna just jump into it so this is layla's basket again she is eight years old so the first thing in layla's basket is a book that's the number one thing that i always get my kids in their baskets are books because we love to read them the girls love them especially layla now because she does read on her own now so she just loves it we always read books for bedtime so this is the one that i got her i think the illustrations are super pretty it's called maribel's missing valentine's this book had a lot of good reviews on amazon so I figured this one would be a good read so that's her book the next thing that i got her is a toothbrush i got her an electric one this is by oral b and it's just moana then i got her a pair of crocs she's been begging me for crocs so I know she is going to love these and these will be perfect for her to wear all throughout the spring and summer. And these are also really good water shoes too if you're looking for water shoes for your child. They're just super easy to like wipe down. So I got her those. Next, I got her a poppet. My kids are obsessed with these things. So I got her a purple one. Then I threw in some gummies in here. These are by the brand Yum Earth. You can pick these up at Target. These are their gummy fruits. They're sugar-coated gummy fruits, so I threw three packs in here. Then I got her some sunglasses. I'm not sure if these are gonna fit her. They're smaller than I thought, so I might have to pick her up a new pair if these don't fit, but I thought these were super cute. So I got her those. The last thing that I got her is a pair of PJs because she really needed some. I love this brand. It's a Vuma. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but you can get this brand off of Amazon. You guys have probably seen my kids wear this brand because they wear them all the time. They're just super soft. They've held up in the wash, really good quality, especially for being on Amazon. So highly recommend these. So I got her the long sleeve ones cause it is still cool at night. So it's just like beige, kind of like this beige grayish color and then it has little flowers all over and then it's just the matching pants so that is everything that is going in layla's valentine's day basket i tried to keep their basket super minimal this year because they kind of got a ton of stuff for christmas and their birthdays so they didn't really need anything so i try to keep it super minimal this year and also like fill it with just things that they need or can use so this one is aurora's now so the book that i got aurora is called a hug is for holding me this book had really good reviews too it's kind of like a daddy daughter book i believe so i figured this one would be really cool for benny to read to her and again like the illustrations are just so pretty I also got her a poppet, but hers is pink because pink is her favorite color. And then what I really love about this poppet is 
on the little pop it bubble things it actually has letters so it has the entire alphabet so i figured this one would be really good for her because i've been trying to teach aurora her letters so i think this one will not only be fun but i can use it as like a learning tool because i could tell her okay can you find a letter m and then whenever she finds it she can pop it for me so i think this will be fun and also really good for homeschool i'm not sure if you guys can see it but all of the little bubbles have the letters so i thought that was really cool i also got her a toothbrush but hers is anna i also threw in some of those yum earth gummies she also got a pair of sunglasses but hers are in this light pink color and then she got a pair of pajamas too hers are just like layla's but hers are like this cream color so again just flowers all over so that is aurora's basket and last but not least we have jade's basket so jade is missing one thing in here i believe it's her toothbrush but i'll put a picture right here on the screen it's like a soft silicone toothbrush she loves brushing her teeth so i figured she would love getting a new toothbrush i just recently bought her a toothbrush but i think the bristles are a little too hard because she has like six teeth now so she has quite a bit of teeth but she still doesn't have all of them so i think the bristles on like the regular toothbrush that i got her are just too hard so i'm gonna try out a silicone one it's from the brand mushy I highly recommend that brand i have gotten so many things from them like dinnerware toys toothbrushes love that brand so definitely recommend that so the first thing in her basket is a book Hers is Tiny T-Rex and the Perfect Valentine. Hers is a board book because she likes to rip the pages. So I always get her board books. I think she'll really love this one. Next, I got her a pack of bows. There's 16 bows in this pack. These are way bigger than I thought they were going to be. I thought the bows were going to be half this size. So I'm not sure if she'll actually keep these in her hair. We'll see. But if they don't work for her, then these will obviously work for Aurora or Layla so they're not going to go to waste so I'm going to have to see if she'll actually keep them in her hair because they're definitely a lot bigger but they're so pretty there's a lot of colors in here so there's like this rust um, red color this is mustard there's leopard this olive green pink this like lace detailing this gray one with white polka dots and then this like velvet brown color so really pretty i'll just have to see if those work out for her i also got her a pair of crocs too how cute the little baby shoes are so cute jade is like a pro walker now so i think these will be perfect for her to wear when it starts getting really hot outside also another thing too i just realized that i don't have aurora's crocs in her basket it's because those got back ordered so those haven't gone here yet so i'm just waiting on aurora's crocs and then jade's toothbrush and then i also want to get like a pack of puffs or a pack of crackers or something to throw in jade's basket because i am not putting gummies in here because those are kind of like a choking hazard because they're kind of like too sticky for her to chew so she needs a snack in here her toothbrush in here and then aurora needs crocs in hers and then that's pretty much it so the other thing that i got jade is a matching pj set just like her sister's but hers is the pink one so again, just has flowers all over it. And then for Jade's Poppet toy, I got her a Poppet ball. I've never seen these before, so I'm like super intrigued with this. It's kind of like squishy a little bit. It's pretty much like the same material as the regular Poppets, but it's just a ball. And you can actually like pop it too, and then they'll pop back out. And if it gets stuck, you just squeeze a ball and it'll pop. The last thing that I have in Jade's basket, but this isn't specifically for Jade, it's a craft for all of us to do. So that's another thing that I always throw in my kids' basket is a craft for us to do together as a family. So this one is going to be for me and the girls. I got this little kit off of Target. You can find really good like um, cheap crafts off of Target. They always have cute ones. So this one is wooden coasters and they have flowers on it. So I thought this would be really pretty to paint and then I can display their work on our table because i can actually use the coasters i just have to buy like a c4 
sealant to put on top after we're done painting it so that way it doesn't get ruined or faded or anything like that but i thought these were just super pretty so that's a craft for all of us to do but that is it you guys that is my kids valentine's day baskets this year i tried to keep it really simple tried to really be intentional about my purchase because like i said christmas and birthdays were just so crazy we took the girls to legoland and disneyland so it kind of got a little pricey at the end of the year so i just tried to be really intentional with their baskets this year if you guys need some more inspo for your kids valentine's day baskets i do have a few other videos up on my channel sharing previous year's baskets links to everything that i shared today will also be down below in the description so make sure you check that out but that is it you guys if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed to the Ryan family and make sure you hit that bell that way you guys always get notified every single time we upload and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.